Okay, so today I decided to um, get my Bella insoles into my sandals. So the nice thing about this is the HPTs here, they're nice and thin and I have them in my other old sandals. Um, I'm gonna be replacing these ones because they have been worn down and uh, had better days. Anyway, so the trick to this is you can put this in your sandals. You're gonna do the same thing as you would if you're gonna put it in your shoe. And you just line it up. If you've got the toe thingy, it's okay. So line it up to where it is with the toe. And you wanna put a little snippet in the insole so you know where the toe will go. Sit it down. Just so you have an idea where it goes. And then what you can do is turn it over so you can see the technology because you don't want to cut you don't want to cut that part. And then just cut a nice slit down where the toe groove will go in. Slide it back over. Put it back in the insole. And if you need to push it up even more, it's all about preference and how you want it to fit. Just don't cut the technology. So I've only got a little bit more room, so. And there you have it. It's right there. And then all I'm gonna need to do for these ones is I'm going to need to trim off the toe area. So I just basically push it down and then take my scissors and cut whatever's access on the top of the shoe there. And then I can take it out and trim it down even more. Same shape, but just trimming an extra bit off so that I can see how it fits in the shoe. And this is just trial and error. You're gonna, um, you know, see how it fits in there. If you don't like how high it is, take it out and do it again. And trim it down a little bit more. And it's all about personal preference. We all like things differently in our shoes, but the important part is having the technology there. So. You have it with the toes, it's nice and clean cut. And then at the back, if it's too much on the back, you can do the same thing with these ones with the Bellas and the Bellows, men's and women's. And just trim the edging off to the shape of the shoe. And slide it out. And just clean it. Clean up that cut a little bit so it's nicely shaped. There we go again. Well, there you have it at the front where the toes and it's all fitted into the back into the back there. I might even go down a little bit more because I don't want it right up to the back edge of my shoe. So I'm gonna trim it again. Some people might like it all the way up to the back like that. I don't. But like I said, it's personal preference, so. And there you have it. It's a good fit there now. So then what I do is I have these sticky back Velcros from the dollar store and they're two-sided. So just make sure that they're lined up. Take them off. 
These are marked left and right. So you can actually put the Velcro right on top of that if you like. And then basically what you're doing is you're just taking the Velcro and sticking it into your shoe. And then what that's doing is securing the insole so it's not shifting around on you. I put one at the back and I usually put one at the front. They're nice and sticky. <laughs> so you can either put them together to seal the, so what I've done there is I've sealed the, um, the cut where the toe was with the Velcro and then just basically take it and press it down so it's nice and secure on the shoe. And there you have it. You have your thin insole inside your sandal. You've got your HPT right there and it's, uh, it's good to go. And it's comfort. Comfort and HPT.